Hello everyone. Today we're looking at this. This is a Motorola Microtac Classic. Um, these used to operate on the TAX cellular system, um, which later then became eTAX or Enhanced TAX. Um, believe it or not, uh, the, the, the Motorola Microtac Classic actually um, came out in 1991. Uh, so this, uh, so that makes this quite an old phone. Uh, this particular one is, uh, I believe, a 1993 version. Um, but the, the original ones of these came out in 1991. To give you some idea, the Microtac Alphas came out in 1992, but it was only till 19, it was only, well, 1993 that they become, that, that they became fairly common. Uh, and this is a, a, a pretty much a brand new one. Um, and I go into other details about, um, about this phone in my other video. Um, but uh, certainly um, at the time, uh, Motorola decided to go with the LCD displays. Um, I have no idea why, um, but they kept switching from one to the other. Uh, they, they, they did the, the, um, the LCD display. Before that, they did the, uh, the dark matrix LED display, which is what this has. And in 1992, they went back to the dark matrix LED display, which is what an alpha has, which is what this is. Um, so, um, but, but, uh, th this, this particular phone, um, was, was only available in black. Um, uh, and I think Motorola had played it safe when they, when they launched this, cause, um, they, they didn't really go with all the, the, the other gray, sh the, the shades of gray and, 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 you know, you had the, the really light gray, the sort of medium gray, the, the charcoal gray, and then the, 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 the really sort of darker gray like this. Um, so they, they just thought, right, we'll stick with black. Um, uh, and as far as I know, these were only available for um, ETAX and the um, NMT system, which is Nordic Mobile Telephone System, which is what they use up in Scandinavia. So Norway, Sweden, uh, um, those sorts of places, uh, Denmark, that, that, that those three countries mainly use the NMT system back in its day. Uh, and there's two versions of that. There's NMT 450 and NMT 900. NMT 450 works on 450 megahertz and obviously 900 on 900. Um, but but ETAX worked around about the 900 megahertz mark. Um, anyway, so um, they, they originally launched this one, um, but with with a lot of cellular providers, they they wanted their own versions of this. Um, a, a bit like the Cellular One, really. Cellular One was one of the very first providers around. Certainly, they're one of the oldest. Um, and 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 when they brought phones out, they brought the standard versions out, and then they also had their own their own versions badged up. Um, I don't have one to show you here, but um, it, it, they they do they did they, they, they did their own sort of versions of particular phones for for business users. Um, and certainly uh, British Telecom in the UK uh, did the same thing uh, and, and, they, and they brought out this. This is uh, pretty much the same phone, uh, just the buttons are slightly different. Well, um, the buttons are the same, it's just obviously they, they, they thought they'd go with clear buttons. Um, and uh, again, this has the LCD display. I'll power this up in a sec. Um, and, and, and the funny thing to note, they launched this as well. Now, I can't work out what the difference between these two British Telecom phones is, um, but the models, the model numbers are different, and I don't know why. Um, so if anybody does, please tell me, because um, I've gone through the, through the, um, through the menu of, of both of these phones side by side, um, and they're exactly identical, I think. Uh, certainly, I can't work out what the difference is uh, same color same everything just the um, the stickers the stickers are the other way around um, and also that the model numbers are different so um, if, if anyone knows um, drop me a, a comment or, or something but um, anyway so so I mean uh, this BT version is, is pretty much the same as the, the classic uh, the, this particular one and, and I guess BT had their reasons for doing their own version at the time because if you think about the cost of, of getting your own version of a handset, it, it ain't cheap. I, I guess they decided to go with their own versions because this Microtac Classic looks very similar to the old style DPC 500. Not the 550s, which are real common, which are these ones here. This is a, just a run of the mill DPC 550. No volume buttons on the side, pretty basic phone. Uh, no name and menu uh, button, just a function button, uh, and these are these are real common. I mean, this is as basic as as, as a Microtac gets. 
Um, but BT didn't want their phones to look like DPC 500, not the 550, which is that one. This is a DPC 500. Uh, these are real old school. These are um, basically, th th this is a, um, a 9800X, um, but with an LCD display. These are about as rare as you can get. Um, to give you some sort of idea, this is a, a 9800X, um, and this is the very first Motorola Microtax they ever brought out. Um, I, I actually have a few of these, um, and, and these are real rare. Um, th these came out even before the DPC 950, which I also have. Um, but, but certainly I've got an original 1989 model, not this very one, but I, I actually have one exactly like this. Um, and that was the very first Microtac they brought out after the uh, the Dynatax range, which is obviously the 8000X, the 8000S, and then the 8000M. Uh, and the M is real common. The 8000S is a, is less common, and the 8000X obviously is is real uncommon. Um, certainly, these ones are not common at all. Um, the, the 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 fundamental difference between the classic and and these is um, the the um, the antenna, the antennas. Uh, that much bigger and, and the shape of the, the the top here is is completely different I call these UFO antennas and these are something else anyway um, these also had the the pull-out antenna but but I'll, I'll do another video about these because there's a lot to talk about these 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 are real old school um, and if, if if you are collecting cell phones and, and you ain't got one of these then uh, you're on rollerblades dude because seriously uh, these are what collectors are picking up these days. Um, to give you some sort of idea, uh, th these are from 1989 going up to 1991 maybe. Uh, so so th these are you know over 20, 20 years old now, 22 years old, nearly 25 years old. So um, almost 25 years old if you get a 1989 model. So um, th these are what to look out for. But I'll do another video about uh, about these. So. But my point was really that that um, that the, the classic looked very similar to uh, a 98x 9800x, which is what this is, uh, and uh, this one is for the Italian SIP market. Uh, this is the same phone. This is just for the uh, uh, the the Austrian market. I think this is yeah, this is an Austrian one. Um, these are real rare as well. In fact, the the LCD models of the, the 9800x are even rarer than the dot matrix models um, because these are real uncommon. These were only available in particular markets uh, like Scandinavia or um, Germany or Austria. Uh, this is a, um, a CNET 450 version. Uh, this particular one is the SIP, the Italian version. Uh, and this runs on RTMS uh, 450 um, as well as tax. Um, so th these are real rare, but I, I guess BT didn't want their phones to be confused with the much older versions of of, of Microtax, and maybe that's why they went with with with, with the with the with the teal green. Uh, and this is the same shade of green as um, the the, the Micro Digitals, um, which are these here. Uh, very very similar shade of sort of light green or, or dark green or whatever you want to call it. Um, I call it teal. Um, so anyway. Um, going back to the classic though, um, it was a, a steady art at the time because you got the up arrow and, and the menu um, and, and this did do um, alphanumeric. It did it very well because of the way the display works. Um, so let me try and exit that. If you, if you look at the way the, 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 the display works um, and you'll notice that actually this has a 10 digit LCD display. All the other uh, uh, LED dot matrix displays can only display seven numbers at a time. So this actually has a, a 10, 10 digit display and that, that was the advantage of having the LCD display, I guess. Um, but uh, th this, had, or this also had the, um, the, um, the dot matrix LCD. I don't know if this will zoom in, but you can just about tell the LCD is made up of a whole bunch of little tiny squares, a bit like the dark matrix LED display. Uh, this this LCD display um, so certainly can display um, letters and numbers. So if you went into the menu, um, you got, uh, how do I get into the menu? 
um, you got your menu, uh, general, and actually the menu of this is identical in pretty much every way to the menu of the old the old style 9800Xs like this. Um, very, very similar. Very, very similar indeed. Um, by today's standards, this is real basic. But, you know, at the time, if you're thinking, you know, 1990, 1991, this, this is 1991, they, they released these, that was state of the art. So um, you, you didn't really get any touch screens or GPS or funny ringtones. This, this was just real basic. Um, so um, again, you, you had your memory recall and memory, um, memory store buttons, your clear button, your send and, and end button, uh, your power button, and your menu and uh, shift button, which is what the arrow is. Uh, the arrow shifts to alphanumerics. You press that in menu, it does it in alpha, and then you can, you can obviously then use the, um, the buttons to type whatever you want. Um, don't know what I'm typing there, but you, you get the idea, really. Um, no SMS, just basic phone calls. Um, so that's pretty much it, really, I think. I, I don't have much else to say about this. Um, usual pull-out antenna. Uh, we won't go into th why that's just plastic. Uh, and again, this is a, a thick brick microtac. Um, of course, the, the, the thinner brick, the, the thinner microtacs came, came out, you know, um, 1994 so th this was well ahead of its time uh, in terms of uh, in terms of, uh, of features and whatnot so um, cer certainly um, th this particular phone um, when it was released in the UK um, it, it, it was very very popular because um, it, it covered the keys and a lot of the phones like Mars bars or candy bar type style phones the keys were exposed and there was no way of locking the keys so people actually went out and bought these because they knew that if the phone was in their pocket which was a new concept then um, that they, they wouldn't accidentally punch a number in and hit dial and and and, and have the phone make it a place in a call um, it, while, while they were unaware of it in their pocket so the, the, these were real popular at the time uh, so um worth noting um i think these you can probably still pick these up um i i've not looked recently but certainly the this particular one I, i've got several i've got another one there i've got a box one uh these i mean i picked them up for peanuts um you're probably looking at 10 15 bucks no more um this is old analog technology so no, nobody can use these um so um but yeah um that's all I have to say, really. So um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and um, do check out some of the other videos I've got on here. And uh, thanks for watching.